All right, it's time to head to Tachunka. We're gonna do, I think, Morden's uh, loyalty mission first, but it, we, we may end up doing Grunts first. It just kind of depends on how this all works because we haven't been to Tachunka yet, and it is definitely, uh, it's definitely a little city. So, ooh, that's a that's a pretty nice outfit, isn't it? It's okay. I kind of, I kind of do like like this a lot you know what let's go with that uh, and then we also did uh thane his was uh that one okay you know what i man i kind of want to bring garris but we, we have to go with morden and i'm also going to bring grunt just because just like we did on the citadel just now with with garris and thane we're just going to knock them all out we're just going to get both of their missions done in one foul sweep which means we don't have to go back to the ship and and get new um New companions and all that. Okay. Also have like super bad heartburn hiccups. You know what those are? Oh man, those suck. But had Wendy's, had a late night with the kids, got home late. And because we got home late, we got Wendy's on the way home. And you know what? Fast food is never good. <laughs> it always seems like a good idea, but man, I prefer a home cooked meal 99% of the time. Every now and again, Taco Bell gets me, you know? Every now and then. But Wendy's is not Taco Bell. <laughs> Arguably, it's better, but that's that's not my argument. That's not what I would say. And that's food review with Zen. <laughs> do -do 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 -do. The clan leader wants to speak with you. Keep your running pet on a short leash. Get him the right soon or put him down. You know what's wrong with him. What he needs? There's nothing wrong with him. Just go speak to the clan leader. Okay. I guess I can do that. What was what is this title? Over captain. Is he over being captain? Is that what it is? Or is he Someday we'll get off this rock. the captain so over everybody? Boss. Right. Yeah. Terrible okay. Right. Tear their scales off and let the Pijak speak on the mother still alive. They're not clan reports. Use weak encryption. I see references to a captured Solarian in the logs of the Chief Scout. Okay, well that was easy. Talk to Scout then, or Chief. Either one acceptable. Also, I have been unable to access local medical records. I suggest asking the local- Were you around when the female camps oh. and the children over- That was odd. Me? No, I was off dealing with a Varen attack. What? Any promising warriors? Yes, of course. They're strong. One day they will tear our enemies apart. Jeez. The Krogan are very aggressive. <laughs> no doubt about that. Finally found someone to follow. Yeah, let's let's ooh, heavy weapon ammo, stabilization gauntlets, death mask, asymmetric defense layer, shield harness, and the phalanx. Now, honestly, I kinda like the M5 a lot. It's a weird pistol, but it is one I do enjoy. Greetings, human. My name is Ratch. Have a look at what I've got. Everyone I talk to hates that aliens are an nerd not except you. I don't have the luxury of turning away paying customers. I do enough business off-world to know that you aliens have more credits than people here do. What do you have in stock? Most of it's food and drink that's toxic to humans. Rin calls a local favorite. Don't try to act tough, it'll tear your insides apart. He's not joking. Ring call hits aliens like ground glass. <laughs> Otherwise, I've got weapons, scrap, and whatever food those pie jocks don't steal, which isn't much. Take a look at my kiosk over there if you want to buy something. What do you have in Wait, stock? No, oh no, that's not what I wanted. To... Food, he's not Joe. Take a look I at misclicked. my kiosk over there if you want to buy something. What the hell is a pie jack? Off-world vermin. Humans say they're like monkeys. They come in and steal food, ring call, whatever they can get their talons on. We started using the mounted defense cannons to stop them. I'm a good shot. Maybe I can help out with the pie jacks. Feel free. You can use the console out there to control the guns. Make a dent in the pie jack population, and you get a discount. Good luck with that. Cool. I should go. Suit yourself. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Can I pet the Varen? Good Varen. Good puppy. Stay. 
It reminds me of the... Oh, what are they called? They're not called dogs. What are they called? The, the big, like, dog creature, M Mabari. That reminds me of the Mabari from Dragon Age Origins. Which is actually pretty rad compared to all things considered. Go away, alien. I talk to no one about eyes straight ahead. All right, fine. I I need to go. I need to go talk to the the leader. I think. And then once we do that, maybe all these nerds will start talking to us properly. Halt! You must wait till the clan leader summons you. He is in talk. You know what tradition demands. Clan Erdnot must respond. Your reforms will not go unopposed. You risk appearing weak at a critical time. Shepherd. Oh, it's Rex. Oh, Anyone? Rex. Buddy. Excuse me. <laughs> Out of my way. Shepherd. My friend. You look well for dead, Shepherd. Should have known the void couldn't hold you. Looks like helping me destroy Saren and the Geth has worked out for you. Glad we didn't have to kill each other on Vermeer. Huh. You made the rise of Erd not possible. Vermeer was a turning point for the Krogan, though not everyone was happy about it. Destroying Saren's genophage cure freed us from his manipulation. I used that to spur the clans to unify under Erd not. You abandoned many traditions to get your way. Dangerous. <laughs> Big one spoken to, Uvenk. I'll drag your clan to glory whether it likes it or not. <laughs> I love Rex. Now, oh, Shepard, what brings you here? How's the Normandy? Destroyed in a collector surprise attack. I ended up spaced. Well, you look good. Ah. The benefits of a redundant nervous system. We don't we don't have one of those. Yeah, humans don't have that. Oh, it must have been painful then. But you're standing here, and you've got a strong new ship. Takes me back to the old days. Us against the unknown. Killing it with big guns. <laughs> Good times. Sounds like you've got big changes ahead for the Krogan. We are making a neutral ground where all clans are welcome. Fertile females can be shared among clans. Yeah. We will strengthen the race as a whole. You threaten everything that makes us strong. It will not last. Maybe. Until then, you're lucky to be a part of it. How do you maintain security with so many different clans in one place? Any clan willing to send in hostages can come in. No fighting inside the camp. Each clan punishes its own criminals. We stop conflicts before anyone dies. Then we present a simple choice. Pay a fine and deal with your problems, or your clan is no longer welcome. That doesn't sound very harsh by Krogan standards. Allies from other clans like what I'm doing. They help deal with skeptics. Many are eager for an outlet. Every time I've declared a clan unwelcome, my allies have destroyed them. Word gets around. What's so important about maintaining individual clans? Every clan has different customs. Rites of passage, rules of behavior, battle songs, all unique. That diversity makes us great. No clan, not even mine, was meant to survive on its own. Erdnot is the leading clan. Doesn't that make your culture primary? For now. But every clan has its unique assets. The best tacticians are Erdnot. Chorgal has the longest breeding line. Gatatog holds the oldest settlement. Others have their own strengths. We keep going how we are. The clans will end up as craters under nuclear haze. Even or not. We need to rethink. Restart. Hmm. You know, I I like that. He's doing he's doing pretty good. I hope that works well for your people. But back to the reason I'm here. We don't often allow aliens to do business on Tuchunka, but you're an exception. Oh, actually, there was one question that I had. Sounds like you've got big We're making a neutral. Oh, no, 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 it's not the one. We don't allow aliens to do business on Tuchunka, but you're an exception. I have a Krogan on my crew. He has some kind of sickness and needs treatment. Where are 
are you from, whelp? Was your clan destroyed before you could learn what is expected of you? I have no clan. I was tank bred by Warlord Okir. My line distilled from Kredok, Moro, Shiagar. You recite warlords, but you are the offspring of a syringe. I am pure Krogan. You should be in awe. Okir is a very old name. A very hated name. He is dead. Of course. You're with Shepard. How could he be alive? <laughs> Does that name mean anything to you, Rex? A vicious warlord responsible for many deaths. Who apparently toyed with genetics. A clone undertaking the right. You are considering it? Tank bred allowed status as an adult? This is too far. There's nothing wrong with him. He's becoming a full adult. Ah, puberty ritual. Common among species with hormone-driven reproductive urges. Uh, Martin, don't, I don't talk. Care what aliens call it. Krogan undergo the rite of passage. Too far, Rex. Your clan may rule, but this thing is not Krogan. Idiot. So, Grunt, do you wish to stand with Erdnot? What does the rite of passage require? Not for me to say, Shepard. The shaman will discuss that. You'll let a tank-bred Krogan join Clan Erdnot? Only because he's with you. After all, you and I killed thousands like him. Not quite as big, but many. Clan Erdnot is strong, and the others will do as I say. They see the benefit of my vision. What happens if he doesn't do this rite of passage? If he was left here, he would be killed. The clanless are not respected. A tank bred, probably more so. His disposition is what it is, right or no. That's just him being a Krogan. Okir didn't tell you that in the tank, did he, boy? We didn't come all this way for nothing. Yes, my blood demands this. Good boy. Speak with the shaman. He's over on the second level. Give him a good show and he'll set you on the path. Okay, cool. That's pretty easy. <laughs> Just go talk to the shaman. Me too, Shepard. How many times have you stepped in a mess for your crew? Hmm? Too many. Gonna be honest. I'm looking for a Solarian. He was captured by the blood pack and brought here. My scout commander can direct you. He's probably near the perimeter running target practice. Don't take too much of his time. I need a constant watch on the other clans. Okay. I need to go. We'll go over this another time. Watch yourself, Shepard. Tuchanka isn't safe and homey like Pharaohs and Ilos. <laughs> Does, those places were safe and homey? <laughs> is, that, is that what you consider safe and homey? You know, I... I really what like this. I, I think this is a cool I'll mission thread. Uh, is an ambassador? Can I talk to him? Crap. Turn back, human. I may be an ambassador among my people, but that doesn't mean I have to speak to the likes of you. Don't think that carrying this wealth of a Krogan makes you worth my time. Leave now before my guards decide to reject you. Ooh, I like this. If your guards are looking for a fight, then we can oblige. This will be interesting. They haven't had a human in their sights in some time. Of course, if they draw their weapons, the Erdnot warriors will be on them in seconds. Assuming they survive what I do to them. Stand down, men. I'm starting to like this human. <laughs> I speak their I language. I am the ambassador to Erdnot from Clan Nakmor. We're a small clan based in Akratic Wastes. If Nakmor is a small clan, how do you keep the more powerful clans from destroying you? We are the clan of the great warlord Nakmor Krall, who faced down platoons of Turians and won. Most clans lend us the respect our ancestor is due. What business does clan Nakmor have with the Erdnot? Clan leader Rex requested that I come. He and clan Nakmor have been in talks about a more permanent alliance. With our help, Erdnot could rally others behind its banner and truly unite Tuchanka. 
and we would gain the chance to fight in larger battles with greater plunder. I thought all Krogan want to be warriors. What makes a Krogan become an ambassador? Huh. You don't know as much as you think, human. A Krogan diplomat has to represent the strength of his people, or his clan appears ripe for conquest. I slaughtered my way to the top of my clan, human. I speak with the authority of a warrior. Okay, then. I should go. I'm sure you are needed elsewhere. Ah, oh, don't be so rude. You're just, you're just afraid. <laughs> oh, they have news here. The attack on the human colony of Freedom's Progress has generated a swift but confused response. Aid vessels have been sent, but it is not clear whether there are survivors. The Council offered its sympathy, but regretted that it could not become involved in a purely human matter. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. They're just, they're just doing them, you know. Who's this guy? Go away. The envoy to the female clans doesn't have to listen to aliens. <laughs> got a funny voice. You go beyond yourself, Gatatag Uvank. The rights of Erdnot are dominant. How do we know it will challenge him? He's unnatural. The beasts of the right could ignore him like a lump of plastic. They no blood no matter the womb. Your barking does not help your case. I'll speak for myself. This is the tank bread. It is very lifelike. Smells correct as well. Your protests ring hollow, Uvank. I'm not fighting over this nonsense. Grunt's ready. Let's get to it. I like your dismissal of our rituals even less than Uvank's challenges. And my word determines whether a rite will proceed. If this must stand on ritual, then I invoke a denial. My Krantz stands against him. He has no one. Mm. My patience is tested, but Uvank invokes correctly. Grunt, who is your Krant? Your allies willing to kill and die on your behalf. How is a candidate tested if he brings backup on his rite of passage? Not every Krogan can be the strongest warrior, but each must inspire his peers to battle at his side. Oh, oh I see. Okay. If the ones who know you best can find nothing worthy in you, you should wander the wastes and die alone before you weaken my clan. Okay. Grunt will strengthen Clan Erdnot. Name our target and it will die. Spoken well. Most aliens, and some Krogan, do not understand our ways. I believe this human does. Aliens don't know strength. My followers are true, Krogan. Everything about Grunt is a lie. <laughs> That's amazing. You. You dare. <laughs> I like this human. She understands. <laughs> I withdraw my denial. This will be decided elsewhere. <laughs> That's great. You just do a Krogan headbutt. You provoked them. Reason enough for me to like you. They're your problem now. Do we need any special equipment? To begin the right, only the candidate and his crant are required. You love battle, don't you, Shepard? The last gasp of a dying opponent. Bring your love of the fight to Grunt's trial, and he will succeed. Is that Krogan going to be a problem? He is forbidden to interfere. Will he? During the rite of passage, you must be ready for anything, Shepard. From what you've shown me, you will not disappoint. We've waited long enough. Tell us how this works. Still your impatience, Shepard. For now, know that Grunt will be tested and that you must adapt. Okay. We'll return when we're ready. When the young Krogan is prepared, Bloodshed in the right must not be rushed. Oh, I see. Okay, so I just got to talk to him to get it started. You know what? I <laughs> I have rarely wanted to play a full Renegade playthrough. There's something about, the, you know, playing as Paragon that just is more my style. But I'll tell you, playing Renegade on this playthrough forcing myself to play a full renegade playthrough has made me appreciate it so much and and i am pretty sure that when i play the next mass effect on my own you know i think i'm gonna do it as renegade because it is just it's just way more fun to me